Welcome to the Bandicoot Power Challenge. This Bandicoot Power Challenge is on seven laps and hard like usual challenges. However, there are a spe few special rules in this one. Uh, Trash Bandicoot must be second place in order to pass this Bandicoot Power Challenge. I'm not allowed to use any power slides and I'm not allowed to use any hopping ability. Any other power-ups I'm allowed to use as long as uh, I use them well, of course, enough to get to first place and claim my Bandicoot Power victory as long as well as Trash in second. So it should be a pretty interesting challenge. Hopefully I can uh, do this well. Right, at the moment I'm failing and uh, not doing so well. I'm in sixth place. Crash is in first, Engine in second, uh, Cortex in third, and Ingo in fourth place. Dingo is now taken out, which means I'm in fourth now. Oh, this bomb looks pretty accurate. Oh, and that hit Cortex, which means I'm in third now. I'm not allowed to use any power slides, as I said in the beginning of the uh, episode. I must continue. Without them. Alright, back into third place again with a lucky power up, and we still have five more laps to go. I'm just going to use these uh, natural turbo pads around the area in order to keep up with the opponents. Oh, good, uh, good hit from Cortex there. I'm just going to do a uh, backwards technique and claim this block to slow them back down. <laughs> Pretty uh, interesting strategy, I know, but uh, that's the best strategy I could come up with in order to regain my position. Okay, we have now uh, the warp power up, and this is going to help us claim first place eventually. Oh, Crash Bandicoot and uh, Engine has, has caught back up. <laughs> Somehow the warp power up managed to hit dingo dial backwards which is interesting. Barely avoided a bomb and we're on lap 47. Sweet, got Cortex with a bottle there. Might get him twice. <laughs> okay, maybe not twice. Oh, Crash Bandicoot with a backwards missile. He meant to be on my team. <laughs> Alright, managed to stop Crash Bandicoot's backwards missile and uh, he tried to fire another one backwards. <laughs> I'm going to slow Crash Bandicoot down so I can claim the first place. However, I cannot attack him too much, otherwise he may uh, fall out of the running in the uh, Bandicoot Power Challenge because I'll need him to finish second place. So it's sort of like a team-based race, this one, but uh, I'm going to have to play it cool and I'm going to have to play it smart. Oh, Crash Bandicoot helps me uh, take down Dingo Dial there, and I take him out of the Nitro as well. Crash Bandicoot is quite far ahead, so I'm going to have to slow him down again. Oh, got someone with a uh, bottle there. Alright, that's 67, and we luckily have a warp power up to slow Crash Bandicoot back down. However, he's sort of slowing down a bit too much now and uh, he's falling behind. Hopefully he catches back up. Oh, come on, I got hit by a bomb. With, and I think Polar got the bomb at me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hopefully not hit Crash Bandicoot and take Polar out of the way. And now we're going to uh, somehow slow these other four down. Oh, engine just glitched off another car and just went flying into the middle of the track. Alright, this should be, be an interesting final lap. Crash Bandicoot in third, on the fifth. Alright, we need to slow down two more opponents. So, this is going to be pretty interesting. Hopefully Crash Bandicoot takes the uh, last lane. Yes, he does, luckily. And the mouse got hit by a missile. Alright, I'm back into first place. And Crash Bandicoot is just behind me. So it's looking good for our Crash Bandicoot, uh, Bandicoot Power Challenge. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'm in first place. Whoa, almost got hit by two bombs. Come on. Yeah, we got it. Thank you for watching this Bandicoot Power Challenge.